our, our post leg workout discussion today, Coach Adam and I, we're going to talk about cheat meals. It's always funny because I'll get daily messages saying like, is this okay? What does okay really mean? Like, what is your goal? Like, are you trying to be on the cover of a magazine? Are you trying to go beyond that and be on the Olympia stage? Are you just trying to live a higher quality of life? But cheat meals, you and I have had a discussion, can be beneficial, but I honestly believe that nine and a half out of 10 times, people are just overdoing it. With nutrition, it's always like an it depends situation. It depends kind of what you're, what you're going after. You know, I think in terms of like with cheat meals, it's important to kind of consider that broader spectrum, right? Instead of thinking about like the right now, this meal right now, you got to kind of think about, hey, what have I been doing in the past leading up to this meal? What do I plan to do in the future post meal, right? So obviously goals are, are going to be the main thing. You're trying to be in a bodybuilding show. You have like a, a massive goal. You have a big goal, then you got to act accordingly. And a lot of times people don't love to hear it, but nine times out of 10, like you said, it's going to be passing on that meal, right? If your if your goal is just to, you know, look better, feel better, be a little bit more comfortable, you know, yeah. with your food choices and things like that, and you've done well leading up to, and you plan to do well post, then I don't see a problem with it, right? And I think it's just about picking and choosing your battles, right? So say it's Friday night, you wanna go have pizza with your family. Mm -hmm. What did you do this week? Were, were you on point with all of your meals all week leading up to this point? Were you getting your vegetables? Were right. you getting your fruits? Were you getting your protein? At the end of the day, what is this about, right? This isn't about taking your shirt off and looking a certain way, even though a lot of us want that. This is about living a life of health and longevity. And the fact is, but at a certain point and you continue to put on body fat, that is unhealthy. Maybe there's a period of time where this can be beneficial if you're really lean. If you're someone who is trying to drop a significant amount of weight, I do feel like in the beginning, this is more of a mental thing where, yeah, I, I might have someone remove the cheat meals to kind of really commit to move that needle a bit and save that as something that, you know, you really need at a certain point, not two or three weeks in to a nutritional plan, especially when you're trying to do a cut or you're trying to really make that like life altering type of transformation. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I mean, like you said, if, if you're really trying to like turn over a new leaf, like really get create healthier habits and all that stuff, you know, we're going to want to be on the side of a little bit more rigidity right off the bat. I hate to use the term like earn it, but at the same time, we do want to develop those healthier habits. And then when you feel comfortable, like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know that I've been doing the right things for my body for, you know, the last three weeks or four weeks or something like that. To me, I'm always big on like picking and choosing your battles, right? So like not just giving in to like, oh, well, I'm, I'm on my way home and it's been a long work day and there's the pizza place right there. So I'm just gonna stop in there and just like slam a couple pieces of pizza quick cause it's been a long day. Like I'm more about planning it, being a little more strategic with mm -hmm. it and being like, yeah, hey, like I have an outing with friends or like I have a wedding coming up I in a month. Enjoy it, right? Yeah, yeah so like I'm gonna nail my nutrition over the next four weeks and then I'm gonna show up at that wedding and I'm gonna really enjoy myself. Then we start to create the healthy habits that we need and, and that we're trying to develop. We're creating that internal health like within our body and we're able to get leaner and stuff like that but then we're also creating that balance that we want to create like a little bit of a lifestyle around it as well. I've utilized them where, you know, if I am dieting for, for something or if I am really tight with my nutrition and I'm feeling great over three, four weeks, at a certain time, I might feel energy levels begin to diminish because I'm not having that boost day. I like to call it a boost day where it's either a refeed or a cheat. And then I'll go in and I'll use it and I'll actually use it to my advantage because the next day I'll wake up with higher levels of energy and better motivation. And I think that's really helpful. I think sometimes using it to reset someone mentally, I think if they've been you know, following a plan for a period of time and they've been really tight and they've been really strict and you know, they're starting to lose that motivation. I think, you know, taking a couple day, uh, days off or maybe even a week off from training and just living a little bit. I'm not saying eating fast food three times a day, but you know, not being as regimented and setting your plan, putting your plan in place for, you know, five days later or seven days later can allow you to relax, take a deep breath and then start back a week later with some more motivations. I always like to tell people when I go and I have a cheat meal, if I am doing it too much, I won't feel good about myself long term. Yeah. All these tabloids and all these people who are saying, you know, F this and, and, and have the cake and have the pizza. Yeah, I agree with that to an extent. Like once you start overstaying your welcome and if I start putting on body fat or if my energy level starts diminishing or if my sleep quality starts diminishing and if I start not feeling the way I want to feel, then I'm probably overstaying my welcome with cheat meals, right? I think you got to ask yourself a question and I'm going to pretty much end on this. If 
you're gonna wake up the next day from having it and you're gonna feel good about yourself without an ounce of remorse, you probably earned it, right? But I've been doing body transformations for 25 years. I've helped transform some of the biggest names in Hollywood. And when they have a goal, when they have something they need to accomplish it, nothing's getting in their way. I mean, partially because it's their job, but when you see that type of focus and that type of commitment to something, those are the people that really move the needle. So I think you gotta ask yourself the first question, what are you trying to do? If you're trying to live a life of energy and happiness and balance, which I think most of you should, and you wanna you know, be lean and, and, and feel energetic, I think you can definitely mix that in a little bit more. If you're trying to prepare for the cover of a magazine or stage ready, or if you really want to take your shirt off and then have that level of body composition, I think things are gonna, it's gonna be a much different commitment. I mean, I'm always of the opinion, like you said, like if, if it gets to the point where, you know, if you can have a great week, go have a, a nice meal or something with like your family or significant other or whatever and, and own it, enjoy it and move on from it, great. When it starts to creep into your mind of like, all right, I've been doing this too much. This is getting like, this is preventing me from reaching the goals that I have, then that's obviously when it's gonna be detrimental for not only your body, but I think for the mind as well, right? And then it, it starts to create these unhealthy habits. We know deep down, right? Like, right. you know, and I think that's the big thing is just to, to kind of listen to that, trust it. If it's something that's gonna make you feel guilty, then I would say avoid it. If it's something that you're actually excited about, looking forward to it, and you know you're gonna be able to move on from it and kind of go business as usual, then yeah. go have at it. All in all, Adam and I both agree, it's something that you, sh that you should have. You should enjoy, life is short, we need to enjoy this sort of thing, but at the cost of us not feeling good about ourselves, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it. Because once our energy level and our demeanor starts dropping, then why are we even doing it? We could spend another hour on this topic, but this is really basic. If you got any questions for myself or Adam, just message us below. We'll be happy to, to answer them, all right? Hope you're well.